Were you a big fan of that show, Son of the Beach? Because I was. And this this is a 90s throwback for people from back in the day, but uh, I, w- I, was a, I was a proponent of that show. The Howard Stern produced Son of a Beach. Mike, I have the perfect segue for you. Oh, yeah. Huh. Because speaking of deplorable things mm-hmm. that include Howard Stern, making the news today was one interview with Howard Stern by none other than the man that's probably going to hope we can't see him at all. But he's in the eye of wrestling fans right now, and that's John Cena. You'd think, knowing that you're going to be asked about something like this, I mean, I know he's got the Argyle movie out, but that's been out for a while now, right? I don't know what it was, because I haven't heard the show yet that uh what the reasoning was that john cena was on howard stern today but you know he's been on howard stern a lot and what's been terrible and we'll get to what he said on the show today but people are pointing out that one of the times he was on howard stern he was talking about canyon after canyon had went on howard stern and talked about his uh life in wwe and how he was treated and how he was scripted after Vince McMahon found out that he was talking about coming out of the closet and the situation with The Undertaker where they had a closet in the middle of the ring that he came out and sang Boy George to before The Undertaker pretty much murdered this man with chair shots, including one to the head that was uh, disgusting by, by, by no matter how you cut it, just a terrible headshot. And... John Cena came on not long after that and said, ah, Canyon's lying. He was never that good to begin with. And he was just complaining. He came out afterwards and, you know, there people are bringing this up now. Now, why are they doing that? Well, Canyon committed suicide at the age of 40, you know, a New York guy. And Ashley Massaro committed suicide at the age of 39. And she had her claims, you know, kind of, you know, they're out there right now. And, and obviously, News Nation, we talked about it yesterday. People looking into her claims about being sexually assaulted while on a WWE tour. But John Cena appeared on Howard Stern today. And once again, while not saying anything about Ashley Massaro or, or anything specifically, at least from what's up on the webpage right now over at WrestlingObserver.com. This was posted up by Ian Carey not long ago. John Cena opening up about his relationship with Vince McMahon. He says, quote, I can say this. I'm a big advocate of love and friendship and honesty and communication. But in the same breath, I'm also a big advocate of accountability. I think you explained it well, Howard. If someone's behavior lies so far outside your value system that the balance shifts of like, I can't operate in a world where this works, then that's the end result of being accountable. Stern then asked Cena about how he plans to handle the situation as it relates to Vince McMahon and their friendship and relationship, and Cena answered, Right now, what I'm going to do is love the person. I love. Be their friend. And by that, it means, hey, I love you. You have a hill to climb. There's the saying of, you don't know who your friends are until the S hits the fan or your back's against the wall. That doesn't make any of what's going on any easier to swallow, but just telling somebody like, hey, I love you. Man, this is going to be a hill to climb. We're going to see what happens, and that's that. It sounds so cliche, but it has to be one day at a time. But at the same token, I've openly said I love the guy. I have a great relationship with the guy. So that's that. (sighs) Did he really have to go on Howard Stern and, and really take questions about Vince McMahon. And if you are going to take questions about Vince McMahon, that's the best that you can come up with for the allegations and the situation that's been put upon Vince McMahon with all of the things that we now know about Vince McMahon after all of the NDAs settling with Rita Chatterton, who for years said that he raped her. Is this really, you know, I guess everybody's got their view and they're entitled to to go out and, and come out and say it, but... I don't know. Did this do John Cena, uh, the man or, you know, the public figure and entertainer 
any like did, did it help him at all here did it help vince mcmahon and how what his image is word life i think john cena would have been better off having the trademark ghost write a statement for him on howard stern than what he said because even if we look at it from the standpoint of john cena john cena i'm sure feels indebted to vince mcmahon how could he not he's been the face of a company probably his dream was given to him because of the business acumen and the business dealings of Vince McMahon. So I'm sure he feels indebted to him. However, Vince McMahon has put out a statement maintaining his innocence in the face of these claims. So, you know, perhaps you can give John Cena the benefit of the doubt and say he's basing his feelings about Vince on the fact that he believes Vince to be innocent when it comes to this situation but in the face of everything social media society what's right and wrong on this planet i think john cena should have you know thought about his choice of words a little bit better much like actually another top wwe superstar did because randy orton was talked about or asked about this very subject in a few interviews with Sports Illustrated, the New York Post, and I think he handled it a little bit better. I believe he did as well. Orton said, quote, I've got to say this, I wouldn't be where I am without Vince McMahon taking a chance on me a handful of times. I would not be where I am today without Vince McMahon. But F, I'm reading this S, what you've seen in red, I've seen in red, and as far as commenting on it, it effing hurts my heart. It hurts my heart. Randy Orton, Brian Danielson, Kevin Owens. There have been a lot of people who have said, you know, over years, you know, uh, people that a lot of people who don't like Vince and have never liked WWE, it always kills them to hear people that they like say respectful things about Vince McMahon or say father figure type things when it comes to Vince McMahon. But there were obviously two distinct sides to this man that you know at at his core i mean as we're finding out is is pretty evil (laughs) is pretty evil when you stack up everything that he's been accused of from over the years and and everything that we're we're finding out but this obviously is going to be a story that continues to play itself out and i guess as time goes on everybody's going to be asked about this you know working in the business certainly working for wwe at some point or another but there's got to be a better way to do it than the way john cena did at yeah. least in my opinion thank you for watching make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that notify button and you'll never miss a video again